Hey everyone, welcome back to Tangerine Education, and today we're going over a very brief overview of the carbon cycle. As we've seen, carbon is a versatile molecule in biology and is found in all organic molecules for organisms. Carbon is released by both plants and animals through cellular respiration and CO2. This includes the phytoplankton on the surfaces of the ocean, trees, rabbits, and any living thing you can imagine. The burning of fossil fuels and wood also contributes to the amount of CO2 in the air. Photosynthetic organisms like plants then use the CO2 from the atmosphere during photosynthesis to convert into sugars such as glucose. That's why we see carbon as an element found in sugars, C6H12O6. Carbon can also be seen as being transferred from animal to animal through the food chain. For example, the carbon in the grass, which is a primary producer, goes from the grass to this rabbit, and carbon from the rabbit, which is a primary consumer, goes from the rabbit to a secondary consumer, such as the hawk. Carbon is mainly found in the air, volcanoes, fossil fuels, the soil, and sediments in ecosystems with water. Dissolved carbon is also found in large quantities in the ocean. The biggest reservoir of carbon is in sedimentary rocks. One prime example of this would be limestone, as you can see, the carbon cycle mainly refers to the transfer of carbon from one organism to another. Being that carbon is an element needed for all walks of life, we can see how carbon is everywhere. The air, the ground, even the ocean. Well that's all I've got for you on the carbon cycle today. Thanks for watching and check out my nitrogen cycle video.